Your extra credit assignment this week will be to identify different types of boxes. Uh, the screen caps that are on your screen right now come from uline.com. That's U-L-I-N-E.com if you want to check it out. It is an industry standard website for purchasing bulk goods, kind of like you would go to officedepot.com. Um, if I needed to buy boxes or, or pens or something and I was working in the industry, I would buy them at Uline because I can buy them in huge loads. Um, your extra credit assignment this week will be to go to the Uline website and to find a box. So these are just random boxes over here that they sell. When we are quoting or we're figuring out how many boxes we need, we're going to specifically choose the printer boxes. They'll give us the standard printing box sizes. These are all the options that you have under corrugated. Um, there are corrugated, chipboard, rigid, and stationary boxes for you to choose from once you are inside the printer box options. We're going to focus on corrugated, but there are different types, so take a look at those. Uh, for example, there's a business card box I can see right here, and a stationary box might be for envelopes or maybe you're designing wedding invitations. But most commercial printing is for bulk orders of thousands of copies of something, and they're going to go in large boxes, and those are going to be the corrugated boxes. The other boxes, I don't know if you can tell by looking at them, I can. They cost more. They're higher quality boxes. Um, there's more folding involved in the assembly of those boxes. Uh, they're going to cost more than a corrugated box would. Our objective in this lecture is to figure out how many items will fit into a box. So we're going to break that down to a step-by-step -step process, just like everything else we do in this class. And that five-step process will be to first identify the size of your individual item. Let's say we're putting books into the box on the right-hand side. How big is that book? Is it four inches by eight inches and two inches thick? Whatever that is, you're going to write that down and endnote that. Secondly, we're going to identify the size of our container. Maybe this container is 18 inches wide and 22 inches long and 9 inches tall. Whatever that happens to be, we need to know those values so we can figure out how many books will fit into that limited space. Once we have the answers to both 1 and 2, we will calculate how many out will fit in the area of two dimensions of your container. So basically, if we wanted to put one row of books at the bottom of the box, how many books could we put? The number out is a standard printing industry term. It's when you're calculating press sheets, how many postcards will fit on a press sheet. So it's really important you grasp this concept because our next lecture and the one after that will be figuring out how many press sheets we need. Last but not least, or second to last, once we know how many books will fit, let's say, on the bottom of the box, we need to know how many will fit tall in the box. So if we have, let's say, four in the bottom and we can fit four tall, we can then, in step five, figure out that four across the bottom times four rows of books equals that 16 books will fit in one box.